Welcome back everybody. So in the last video we got this uh, navigation drawer working. So you slide out here and here, you know, there it is. So you just basically just slide from the left to the right and here they all are. So it's kind of cool and this is going to be for categories. So say different categories of this app like shirts or jeans or shorts or that kind of stuff. So it's an easy way for users to get from any screen really. They can just swipe like that and then they can, they can select what they want to go to. But there are a couple of problems right now. So right now if I click on settings, it doesn't do anything. It turns it red, but it doesn't do anything. And you'll notice if I click settings now, see now two of those are red. Now all of them are red now. So we need to fix that. So that's pretty. That's an easy fix. We can go into the menu. So in the menu here, and I just called it main menu. We, what we can do is we can actually add a group. So it'd be like uh, gr group. And then what we need to do is checkable, checkable behavior equals single. I think that'll do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. Bring that down to the bottom. Save it. Put some spaces there. Uh, maybe a space there, there. I'm, this is like formatting rules. You don't have to actually put each one on its own line, but I like to, I, I like things to be nice and neat. So save that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and run it, and I th think this might work, I'm not sure. I think this will work, I think that's what does it. I'm pretty sure it's that, it's a checkable behavior equals single. So I'm gonna slide out, so we got that. Now it doesn't even highlight it at all. Well, that's okay. Well, oh, I know, I know why, okay. So we need to finish doing this. So before we was kind of going through the documentation and following along, but I kind of have an idea of what we need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. The first thing we need to do is give these IDs. So let's do ID dot, um, call this drawer layout, layout. Okay, and this one we'll call, actually it already has an ID, so navigation view, and we're gonna access these in Kotlin. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to set up something. So every time, let me go back. So every time you select one of these, like say you click on shorts, we want to have shorts be selected and then open up the shorts. Now we're not gonna get all of that in this video. It's a little bit complicated, but in this video we're just gonna make it where you can click on shorts and it'll select it and close it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to main act. act so the important thing is we gave these IDs. So this navigation uh, view here has an ID of navigation view. So let's go back to here. And this is getting kind of messy, but we'll do it for now and we'll refactor later. This will be navigation, a navigation view. There it is. Dot, so it's like set, yeah, set navigation. Uh, now set navigation item selected listener. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the down arrow and just do that, enter. And here we are inside of here. Let's do this. Let's do a uh, menu. Uh, so what am I trying to do here? Uh, menu item. Or we can, all we can do is dot is checked. I've used it before, so it's there. Equals true. So I think, is it, will that not work? Oh yeah, we need true here also. Is it true? I think there we go. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and let's see if this works. I think it might work, but it's not going to close automatically. We, we still need to have it close, and we'll get to the close in just a second, but I want to make sure this is working. So now only one is selectable at a time. It's like you click on settings, like only one of them is highlighted. You can't highlight all of them at the same time. Now what we're going to do is we want to actually close it. So I think we can do drawer layout dot, it's like close, I think that's it, close drawers, I think. So save it, run it. Go back to the emulator, and when this runs, we'll see. Uh, let's pull it over. Shorts, yeah, there we go. So if you open it back up, you see shorts is still selected. So say I want to go to jeans. Okay, now say we're on the jeans screen, and we haven't done this yet, but open it back up, and jeans is still selected. So that's kind of that's kind of what we want to do. Um, but we all, but we also want to have a hamburger icon there because yeah, like a lot of apps have a hamburger icon or the menu icon right there and we don't. So like, you know, that'll work, but we want to add an icon there. So how can we go about doing that? That's all done programmatically. So let's do this. Let's do support action bar. Uh, I think it's question mark, right, apply. We'll just do this here. Oops. There we go. So I kind of like things nice and neat and I format stuff all the time. Okay. So inside of here, inside of the support action bar, we need to type set display home as up enabled, true. And then we also want to set home, set set home as up in, 
indicator. And then we need, oh, we need a, we need a, so let's go back to drawables and we'll do a new vector. And we'll, oh, I've already used it here, so it's here. So we wanna make it white. And if you don't see this, you can search for it and just type in menu and then you can click on that, click okay. We wanna make sure the color is white, which it is, so that's good. Uh, next, finish, and this should place it in our drawables and it does, here it is, okay. So we can see it, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, cool. So I'll go back to here. Uh, actually, we're done with that, I can close that. Go back to here and do, uh, I'll just get rid of that line. And then I think it was, so I'll go back to here and do set home as up indicator and it takes a drawable, so r.drawable.menu black, ah, it's black. Here, let's refactor that. So I usually use the keyboard shortcut to refactor, but you can actually right click, go to refactor, rename, and we can rename this white. So you notice that over there on the left it says black, and over there it says black. So if I change that to white and click refactor, it'll update both right there and there. So that refactor really helps you out. So I'm gonna save it and I think this will work. But let's just, now it's not gonna do anything, but it should have a, it should at least have the icon there. And that's kind of what we want. So let's see, yeah, there's our icon, okay. So if you click, if you click on it, it doesn't do anything. You can still swipe out though to open up, you know, and go to shorts or socks or jeans, but the but the hamburger icon doesn't do anything right now. So let's just hack it and make it work for now. Um, and then we'll probably come back to it a little bit later. But to get that to work, I think it's, we need, we need on option, I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna do control enter, override, enter, and then we'll do on options item selected. And I think this is what we need. And we'll just go ahead and comment that out. And what we need to put here is, well, how to do this. Let's, so they're, they're uh, I'm trying to think of how, what's the best way to do this. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and do, we'll just do something very basic. We'll, we'll have it open it up. So let's do this. Let's do, uh, so we gave it, if you go back to the here, we gave it an ID, I think, of, yeah, drawer layout. So if we go over to here, we can do drawer layout. I think it's not, Cl uh, oh, we want to open it, not close it. We want to open it. So open drawer. Uh, then we have to pass in gravity, gravity compact dot start and save it. Reformat the code, and this so that'll open up. That'll open it up. So normally we do we do it a little bit differently, but this this will at least work for now, and we can revis revisit it later and add. Well, let's just see if this works or not. I think it'll work. Uh, there's an error. Uh, we go back to here. Error. What's the error? A return expression. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. Actually, do we want to? I think we, let's just go ahead and return here. We'll go ahead and return. Oops, not that line. Let's so go up there. We'll return true. So let's go ahead and run this. Go back to the emulator, and I think this will work but let's check it out and make sure that it works. So click on the hamburger icon. Yeah, sure enough, we open it up. Boom, there it is. We can so go to settings, we can go to socks, we can go to shorts, we can go to jeans, we can go to the first settings, the second settings. So we can hit that icon to go there or we can still swipe open. So there's two ways to get to it. The hamburger, of a, the hamburger menu or just swiping. And of course you can dismiss it by dragging it, closing it that way, or by just clicking anywhere on the grayed out. So what's that error about, huh? Anyway, so this, so uh, hopefully you learned something. We learned how to actually make the hamburger icon open up that up and also how to select from a drawer layout. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.